Welcome to Travel China Guide, the final episode here on Y2J Does Asia, the 10 part web series. This is part 10 where I tell you about China, what you can expect, and all the things that you're in for. In this episode, we are talking about Chinese cutlery, Chinese food, how to eat Chinese food. Now, most people's Chinese food, their experience with it, it looks like this. Rubbish Chinese food. Chinese food that comes out of a paper box or comes out of a plastic container. That is not Chinese food, that is Chinese rubbish food. Rubbish food that we get here, not over there. When you eat in a Chinese restaurant in China, you will get these things. There is a teapot. There is a plate. There is a medium-sized bowl. There is a cup. There are your chopsticks. Now these are all kind of mix and match. When you get them in the restaurant, they're probably all going to match. And I'm gonna explain what everything does and the etiquette, the procedure, or what you're supposed to do. Because if you don't do it right, you're gonna look like the idiot you are and all the Chinese people are gonna point at you and smile and laugh. They're gonna laugh at you, not with you, at you. First, let's cover the tea. You're going to get something like this. Usually, they're a bit bigger than this. This is really like a home one. You know, this is just standard teapot. This is going to have your Chinese tea in it. Chinese tea goes into this. So the etiquette for this, you know, when you fill it up, you fill up the cups, because they're always little cups like this. You fill up the cups of the other people nearby, especially the seniors. Seniors means people that are older than you. You fill up those cups before you fill up your own one. That's the tea etiquette. And don't fill it right to the very, very top. Chopsticks. Not all restaurants treat their chopsticks well. Some of the chopsticks, they may look clean, they're not really clean. What you will see Chinese people do is you will see them, sometimes they'll use their bowl like this. They'll put the chopsticks in. And they will pour the tea onto the chopsticks. Um, they will dunk this thing into it. You know, dunk this thing in, wash it. Basically, they're looking to wash these chopsticks and sometimes the cup, sometimes the bowl with the hot tea because the hot tea is hot. And the idea is just to kill the bacteria that may still be on these because as I've covered in my food hygiene video, China is not known necessarily for its fantastic food hygiene. So tea goes in here. Chopsticks. When you're using chopsticks, don't put them on the table. <laughs> don't put them on the table because you're going to get food on the end of these chopsticks here. Sometimes they have a little holder it's just a very tiny little rectangular kind of block. If that exists, you put it there on the block so that the tips of the chopsticks are levitated off the table. If the block is not there, you may want to consider an option like this. Put it on the plate. Maybe put it on the bowl. This doesn't really work. Well, it works in this instance, but often the, the plate is too small and the chopsticks will just fall out. The plate. The plate is not for your food. The plate is for rubbish. A lot of Chinese food comes with bones in it. Uh, or if it's not bones, it's some other byproduct of the fish, like the uh, exterior shell from, um, from like a shellfish or prawns or something like that. Uh, sometimes these things come bundled in plastic, plastic wrapping and you've got to rip all the plastic wrapping off. The plate is for your rubbish. You do not eat your food off the plate because, as you know, the communal food, that's the way Chinese people eat their food, 
there's large plates of different dishes in the center of the table and usually the center of the table has that that rotating thing in it the, the big wheel i don't know there's a name for it i don't know what it's called <clears throat> so you get your food from there don't put it on the plate the plate is for the rubbish the food actually goes into this your small bowl usually the bowls are around about this size sometimes they're a little bigger sometimes they're a little smaller and I've just realized that I've missed an item sometimes and I just realized I've missed an item they actually come with a spoon as well so the small bowl like this is what you eat your food out of so you know you're gonna take the communal food put it in the small bowl eat it out of the small bowl now this lovely bowl you don't have to leave it on the table if it's awkward to get it from down there to up here you hold the little bowl up close to your mouth like this you'll see chinese doing this with rice you know or anything that's hard to eat they'll bring the bowl right up to their mouth like this use your common sense if something is too hard for you to eat with chopsticks then change to the spoon for example rice i can eat rice with chopsticks i'm that good i mean i'm not i haven't been using chopsticks my whole life but i'm good enough to eat rice with chopsticks you Perhaps not. Use the spoon. Something like soup. If the soup has large bits of meat in it or vegetables you want to pluck out, sure, use the chopsticks for that. But the rest of the soup, well, spoon. <laughs> uh, sometimes you'll get an oily vegetable dish, like maybe it's um, eggplant or something, and it's just really slimy and mushy, and it's just a little bit tricky to pick up with this. Again, use the spoon. There are no real hard and fast rules on spoon versus chopsticks. Use what works for you. Sometimes, of course, the restaurants will supply you with a knife and fork, um, depending on you know where you are, how many Western people you're with, whether you're in China, or, you know whether you're you know uh, not in China. Um, you know, there's there's different kind of you know expectations there. Um, a lot of Chinese restaurants, uh, like for example, here in New Zealand, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, they'll generally just give you the option of knife and fork. And they all speak English anyway, because that's the language here. Over there, um, they won't give you knife and fork, they just expect that you're going to know how to use this, especially if you're with a large group of Chinese people, which always happens when I go over to China. <clears throat> so you may have to ask for knife and fork if you want knife and fork. Lastly, Regarding the use of the chopsticks, the chopsticks obviously have to go close to your mouth to eat the food. But the problem is, sometimes the chopsticks are also used to grab food off of the communal food plates and then put into your bowl. So these same chopsticks that go close to your mouth sometimes end up in the communal food. Now sometimes the communal food has big serving spoons. But sometimes you use this now you may think to yourself that's unhygienic and it is it is actually quite unhygienic but there's also a bit of a safeguard measure or it's not so much a safeguard measure it's etiquette and it's technique do not make contact with your mouth your lips your tongue your actual mouth and the chopsticks themselves the chopsticks are designed to move the food in the direction of your mouth you eat the food off of the chopsticks so what that means is that if you're grabbing something with the chopsticks you're going to grab onto that item with your teeth and then pull the chopsticks out the mouth does not make contact with the chopsticks you know so don't just wrap your lips around the chopsticks and eat directly off the chopsticks that's kind of disgusting and they'll, they'll look at you a little bit sideways if you do that you've got to make the effort to actually not come into contact with the chopsticks with your mouth you know now if eating it and grabbing the food off of the end of the chopsticks is not quite you know doable not quite easy enough you may have to use the chopsticks to put the item into your mouth so that it's behind your teeth then pull the chopsticks out. Um, you may also, like if it's like a big piece of lettuce, grab a hold of that and then sort of like grab onto the lettuce and sort of suck it into your mouth. You know, again, using the bowl is helpful because you can, you know, if anything's going to fall off the chopsticks, you know, the bowl is right there. So 
technique, 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 technique. But again, going back to what I said before, if in doubt or if, if again, going back to what I said before, if these are too difficult, use the spoon. So I think that just about covers it. We've covered the plate, the bowl, the cup, the teapot, the chopsticks, and the spoon. The only thing that's left is for you to go out, eat some Chinese food, and put what I've said into practice. Because uh, there's, you probably picked up, if, you've, if, if you haven't been exposed to this kind of eating before, you, I, say, I would say you guys have probably picked up something that you didn't know before. So don't make yourself look like a jackass by doing it wrong. Do it right. Clean these at the start of the meal, especially if it's a dirty, shitty restaurant or one that's not known for cleanliness. Use the tea. And um, put your rubbish on the plate. Don't eat off of the plate. The plate is for rubbish. You eat out of the bowl. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure, and we're going to be moving on with another web series here. We'll see what that one's going to be. If you like this video series, if you want to see more, uh, click that like button, leave a comment. And I'm serious, like I could probably make more videos about what it's like in China. So if you want to see more of this type of video, leave a comment. No comment means no more videos. So leave a comment and subscribe.